Alright guys, welcome to part 10 of making a Minecraft Hacked Client. In this video, what we're going to do is create a click GUI um, using Darkstorm's API, which is really helpful. We could probably make our own in the future, but we're going to use this for now because it's really helpful and it saves time. So first off, let's start by clicking download zip. And let's go to slick 2 d and hit download. I'll leave these links in the description, but Darkstorm's API uses Slick, so we need to download that. Um, second, let's make a new folder called uh, Slick, and drag this here, open that, and hit Extract here, just because we have a lot of stuff in the Slick folder. We need to put it somewhere. So close out of that for now and drag this here. Okay, next, let's open up Eclipse. Right click on Client. Go to Build Path. Add External Archives. And let's open Slick.jar. So, now that that's added, let's go to Tutorial Client, open this up, go to the Source folder, Minecraft, and now you're going to need some kind of compiler uh, opener. I don't really know what to call it. I use WinRAR and it's, it's nice except for the ads. So, you're going to have to open this, and if you're using WinRAR, you're going to get an annoying ad. Open this folder. Open source and drag organ. So once you're done that, you can close those two windows out, and there's going to be some errors to solve. All right, so next we should have some errors uh, to fix, and they're not too bad. So first off, let's go to Unicode Font Renderer, and there should just be a method in here we don't need. So just delete this. Um, so that class is fixed. Uh, open Simple frame UI and scroll down to here and just change this to draw string and that's good. Um, let's go to render util and first off let's change this to Minecraft. Just click that. If not, make this Minecraft.getMinecraft and in here this method is really messed up so I went to my went to the old version of Darkstorm's API and you're gonna want to highlight all over this and paste this in. So hmm oh that's weird. Well let's just delete that. <laughs> I don't know what that is. But yeah, that's that's that. Um, this class is fixed. And lastly, we're going to go into here and import IO exception. So yeah, that's it for fixing errors. Alright, so next what we need to do is make a method to get the category, and you'll see why in a bit. Uh, okay. I can't spell... Um, okay, so next we can close that and this and let's go to, let's make a new package called GUI, or your client name dot GUI, and in here, let's go to darkstorm dot GUI, copy example GUI, this one right here, and paste it in here. <laughs> no, don't. Oops. Okay. So, now we're going to get some errors. And let's open this. Uh, first, import this. And next, we're going to need to rename this to whatever you want. I'm going to do my client name, GUI Manager. And next, you have to click Rename Compilation Unit to that. And you should be good. So. Let's delete all this comment in 
the setup method and let's make our own so just let's start by doing a map final map of category and module frame category frames equals new hash map of category and module frame Uh, make sure these are less than and greater than signs to specify which type. Uh, Control Shift O to import. Do your your own category class. Um, okay, so next let's go through every module we have. Module M spike dot get modules and then if module all right so you need to do module frame frame equals category frames dot get m dot get category if frame equals null then we're gonna do string name equals M dot get category. I spelled category wrong, didn't I? All right, we can fix that. That's embarrassing. That's disgusting. All right, much better. All right, um, category. Okay. So, where are we? String name equals m dot get category dot two string dot two lowercase. So it's getting the category name and making it all lowercase. So now we just got to make the first letter uppercase, and we do that by doing character dot two uppercase um, name dot car at zero, and then plus name dot substring one. So now we do frame equals new module frame name. And then frame dot set theme new simple theme. So this is pretty much just making a new frame now. Uh, frame dot set layout manager new grid layout manager two zero and you're gonna need to import that um frame dot set visible true frame dot set minimized false uh actually make that true and let's do frame dot set closable and let's make that false. Um, so let's go down and do add frame. Frame in category frames dot put m dot get category and then frame. <coughs> cool. So almost done. Next we just need to do we need to get out of the loop. And do frame dot add new basic label m dot get name and you don't need that uh, final module update module equals m so now I do button button equals new basic button ah I can't spell um and then m dot is toggled I just do question mark disabled colon enabled this is called a ternary operator and it's pretty much just an if else statement in a uh, in one single line it's pretty neat Let's do at override public void update. 
set text update module that is toggled and then the ternary operator again question mark disable actually it's disable and enable not disabled and enabled um, disable colon enable again um let's do a colon right there semicolon and then underneath let's do button dot add oh, button dot add button listener new button listener and okay this is where things get weird you actually make a method inside there yeah okay so when you do at override again you're going to do public void on button press and then button button update module dot toggle and button dot set text and you know what let's just go ahead and copy this so yeah all we need to do is just go under here and do frame dot add button and let's do horizontal grid constraint uh, it's a hard word to spell <laughs> um, and then right and that's not good okay I spelled constraint wrong okay <laughs> Um, so yeah, that's good there. Next, we need to make a new class. And let's name this UI Renderer. And in here, let's have two, one static method. Um, public static void render and update frames. For frame F spike dot okay yeah so we can't even do this yet let's go into the GUI manager or spike class and let's do alright sorry my dog just came my room and scared the crap out of me so um let's do public static Spike GUI manager and the reason why this is public is it we, it doesn't really matter if we have a okay scratching out my door hang on uh GUI manager uh spike GUI manager GUI manager um so import that and let's go down here. And let's do GUI manager equals new spike GUI manager. GUI manager dot set theme. New simple theme. And. Oh. I forget that. Alright. Got to import simple theme. And lastly, GUI manager dot setup. So, um, let's go into this UI renderer class, and we're actually missing something. So, let's do for frame f, uh, dark storm frame, spike dot GUI manager dot get frames. Um, let's do f dot update, and then. Let's go down here for frame F 
spike dot gy manager dot get frames if f is pinned so if the frame is pinned or uh, minecraft dot get minecraft dot current screen if the current screen is a dark storm GUI screen um this two instance of sorry is the GUI and then import it then we're gonna do f dot render so last thing is we need to go to int go into our hook GUI game hook and let's just go to UI renderer dot render and update frames so um next what we need to do is let me just check my other client because there's a lot of stuff to memorize in this kind of tutorial um let's go to let's make a so we need to make a class for this so let's do new module new class and let's see super class I was I was just trying to see if I could make module but that'd be stupid so let's do click GUI let's do extends module uh, add constructor and let's delete these two right here and let's do super um, click GY keyboard dot key underscore and I like grave I don't know about you but that's what I use for my GY and then let's do category dot other so lastly public void on enable Let's do an at override on the top. I don't think we need it, but I like to do it just in case. Um, if mc dot current screen instance of GUI manager display screen. I'm gonna import that. Now we're gonna do mc dot display GUI screen new. GUI manager display screen and then spike dot GUI manager and gotta fix that and then lastly we'll just do UI renderer dot render and update frames so let's go back into the spike class and do add mod new click GUI Uh, control shift O and yeah this should work I don't think I'm forgetting anything hmm it take a little bit to load up Okay, so if we just load up a world and we hit tab, oh sweet, that's nice. That's pretty cool. Uh, we can fix this later, it doesn't really matter, but oh, that looks so nice, holy crap. Um... Yeah, so that's pretty much how to make a GUI, guys. I click GUI. Um, I'll see you later.